In this tutorial we're going to show how to create solid objects using flex particles. This can be used to simulate hard materials. In the second part we're going to show how to create cloth. Let's first create the flex solid asset. We need to set the boundary mesh. It will define the shape of our solid. Let's pick a cylinder here, for example. In the preview you can see how the particles are going to be used to sample the cylinder. Now let's create an empty game object for it. Let's call it Flex Solid Actor. And add a corresponding component, the Flex Solid Actor component. Now again we need to define the container and the solid asset, let's do that now. Ok, let's adjust the transform and let's enable debug rendering so we can see what's going on in the simulation. In order to render our solid, we can just add a mesh filter and a mesh renderer component. We can disable debug drawing now. Ok, let's add a mesh filter. We'll just pick the same cylinder now. And let's add a mesh render. Ok, let's pick another material. How about the blue one? And let's see. Next, let's create the cloth asset. We need to define a mesh, which vertices are going to be used as the basis for the cloth simulation. Let's pick a sphere here, it has a quite a regular sampling, which is good. We can add some pressure, uh, which only makes sense for a closed mesh. Let's add a corresponding game object. Let's call it Flex Cloth Actor. Ok, let's add a corresponding component, the Flex Cloth Actor component. As usual, we need to set the container and the cloth asset we just created. We can enable a self-collide for example, which means that the particles within the model are colliding as well. Let's enable debug drawing so we can see something as a preview. Let's have a look. Ok, that looks alright. In order to render the deformable cloth mesh, we need to add a special component. The Flex Cloth Deformation component. By default it targets the same game object uh, that uh, the component is assigned to. Let's add a mesh filter and choose the same mesh. And we also need to add the mesh renderer. Uh, this way the flex cloth deformation component can update the vertices of the mesh to be rendered. Let's set another material and let's uh, disable debug drawing again. Let's have a look. We can also attach individual particles to the world. We can do this in the flex cloth asset. In the preview window, we can use Ctrl and left mouse button to mark individual particles. Let's mark a few here and let's have a look how it looks in the simulation. In the next and final tutorial, we're going to look into soft bodies and mesh skinning.